The flesh resides in society, while the heart yearns for the natural world. Such has been the way of the Kaidaharas for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. When that time comes, remember to always stay true to yourself. I heard an old man say something about the Kaidaharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. Listen carefully, Kazuha. A Kaidahara blade is not forged for the purpose of harming people. What are you carving? <laughs> it's a rock garden. I'm modeling it after the scenery I saw on my travels abroad. It'll go with my bonsai later. Work has been so busy these years, I've barely had a moment to spend with my grandson. I hope he doesn't take after me. When he's older, he should get out there and see more of the world. I believe the other voice belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, 
I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. you all go? This place is a maze. We all got trapped inside except for you. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? It appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed, I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. <laughs> we got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... changed completely. Wait. <sighs> Everyone, I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai, so before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. Tied the letter with that secret in it, right? Yes, and to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could, but my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai, Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... 
It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai like my great-grandfather? Or rocks like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it. We'll help you look. We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. Lord Kasua, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. treasures. Yes, this was the case last time, only Lord Kazuha is missing. Don't worry, leave it to us. 